Investors on both sides of the Pacific had shown some optimism after trade officials from the world's two largest economies opened high-level talks in Beijing. President Trump has said he might move a rapidly approaching March 1 tariff deadline if negotiations prove to be productive. Chinese trade officials had pledged to begin buying U.S. soybeans, but a late-week cancellation of 807,000 metric tons, nearly 30 million bushels, capped several months of minimal or non-existent sales. I can live receiving billions and billions of dollars a month from China. China never gave us 10 cents. It was always the opposite way. Now they're paying billions of dollars a month for the privilege of coming into the United States and honestly taking advantage of our country. So we'll see how it works out. The trade war with China got hotter last July when President Trump laid down tariffs on $250 billion worth of Chinese imports. The move was in retaliation for China's alleged pressuring of U.S. companies to hand over trade secrets and technology. This was coupled with complaints of corporate espionage against Chinese manufacturers. Currently, the U.S. tariffs on Chinese goods are pegged at 25 percent on over 800 items. If a new trade deal is not reached by March 1, import taxes will increase by $200 billion. Even with the tariffs in place, China's exports in January rose almost 10 percent from a year ago. At the same time, Chinese imports of U.S. goods have dropped by over 40 percent. At the end of Friday's session, both sides agreed to extend the trade talks and meet in Washington next week. There was no indication from the White House if the looming deadline would be changed. For Market to Market, I'm John Torpy.